Here you go. Introduce yourself. Hi, I'm Dorothy Miller with the God Story Project and Simply the Story. Um, having been involved in the orality movement for a while and watching it grow and seeing now at this consultation how much we've gained in understanding that people are beginning, beginning to know what orality is, although we've run into a few that don't have it an understanding of it yet, it's really exciting to see how people are more and more understanding the need for some moral strategies and and also exciting to see that this one featured the honor shame for us to say that are from the West to recognize the larger picture and to begin to see within the Bible there are multiple worldviews and if we would uh, it sounds simple but if we would listen to what God had in there all along we would have seen that, but to remind myself and others here in attendance that if we listen well to the Word of God, we might not have to read 10 books and come to a consultation to see what was there all along, but sometime we need that jump start. We need that encouragement. We need coming together to recognize these uh, diverse views. And In terms of this particular consultation, is there anything that you are going to walk away from here to do differently or expand or anything else in, in things that you see in the near future? I would say in listening to people here and listening to the academics um, and the, the custodians of the seminaries, the ones that know that they are at the top of the chain, so to speak, as far as theology and preserving truth and presenting it to people who will then become pastors, who will then teach the people. So they're very serious about making sure that they get good information for them to see that it can be done orally without a compromise of theology and to expand ideas of ways it can happen. I, I'm excited about their cautiousness to just jump into the latest movement. I'm encouraged about the depth, not that I question, but it's good to see. At the same time, the openness to consider um, that to expand the amount of people that can understand deep theology and recognize that maybe if you can't even read, that you could get some deep theological understanding. I think one of the things I take away is how can I communicate these things that I've treasured for a while now with other people who are, it seems like they're guarded and you go, are they the gatekeepers? Are they the ones that are not letting you in to, to let you have a reality? No, they're cautious people that want to make sure that what you're bringing is not going to compromise. And what are the things that they need to hear and understand so that they will open their arms a little wider and not feel that there's a compromise happening. So to learn the words the, the little avenues that would open up to explain oral strategies to people. It's just a, it's a wealth to be able to mingle with people. I can say, what, what is it that's holding back? And I let them open up and tell you, and people have been real open. So I feel like I go back with better, better equipped to communicate orality with people that haven't quite understood the wholeness of it. Awesome. Thank you.